Hi, I'm Lee Teschler with Machine Design Magazine. We're here with Scott Thompson from Solid Concepts. Scott's going to tell us a little bit about a rapid prototyping process called ID Light. Scott, what exactly is ID Light? ID Light stands for Industrial Design Light. Stereolithography has been around since 1989 where a laser beam is used to solidify a liquid polymer one thin layer at a time. So you can take CAD data directly from your CAD system and produce uh, any geometry. Now, what we've done is we've developed our own polymer and our own build style to take what would be a very heavy model. An appearance model like this would weigh 45, 50 pounds, but with industrial design light, this weighs under six pounds. What's the difference between ID light and a conventional rapid prototyping process? The difference is an internal lattice that builds and allows the liquid to drain. The internal chamber doesn't need all that liquid, so we drain it out, don't charge the customer for the time, nor the liquid. How exactly do you build something like this? We've got 12 large frame SLA systems. We've got the iPro 9000, and we've got upgraded solid state large frame systems that build in a 20, essentially a 20 inch cube. So we've got a laser beam interacting with the free surface of the liquid polymer that creates one thin layer at a time. In this case, about six thousandths of an inch layer sections are built one upon another, and then the part will come up and the liquid drain off. And whatever's not, whatever's not solid just drains off and we can reuse that. How thin can the surfaces be that you build with this method? We can go as thin as one thousandth of an inch, um, but what we're finding is in terms of speed and economy of scale, Five thousandths to seven thousandths is the ideal layer registration. Can you tell us a little bit about the model you have here? Okay, what you're looking at here is our ID light representation of Zoomer, our superhero that we needed for a trade show in less than two weeks. We accomplished it with the ID light build process. If, if this fellow was made with the standard conventional stereolithography process, he'd weigh well over 300 pounds, about 360 pounds actually. I weighed him myself, this guy weighs 29 pounds. Now that's a body mass index less than Tiger Woods, less than Lance Armstrong. In fact, it's a body mass index of probably, I think it's three. Um, so um, our, our, our customers that, that use this type of process like it because they consider it a one-man lift. One man can lift he what would normally be in a heavy appearance model Looks looks stout and robust, but this guy again is only 29 pounds. When you design something for ID Light, what's the design process look like? Our 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 customers typically start with a conventional computer-aided design workstation, whether it be SolidWorks, Pro Engineer, Katia, whatever the case may be, and they'll design a uh, a fully defined solid object, and then the software automatically cross sections the data into thin layers and the technology is, is called layer additive technology. So we'll build one thin layer at a time, extracting the CAD data. Is there anything special about the stereolithography method used to do this? We're using stereolithography equipment provided by 3D Systems. We've upgraded it with current state-of-the-art uh, solid-state lasers, current software, as well as uh, state-of-the-art photopolymers, the epoxy-based low shrink, fast photopolymers. Does that limit the kind of materials you can use? Yeah, you're limited to a photopolymer. Um, photopolymers are always advancing, yet they're advancing incrementally in terms of mechanical properties, durability. Here's an example of a current photopolymer. It's got a white ABS appearance. It's, it's, it's tough, it's accurate. Customer can use this for a robust working prototype. However, if the customer wants to do an even more robust prototype, we can use this as a master pattern for our advanced cast urethane process. We call that quantum cast. 